But um, you can call me Mommy Doki. Yes. Mommy Doki? Yes. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Thank you. I just moved into the neighborhood with my husband. Oh, yes. Okay. We're new here. I'm a lonely widow and I I bake when I'm bored. Oh. And um, you know, I don't I don't um I don't eat it, you know. I I I I dash it to friends who want to enjoy and um, children. But you know, the neighbors don't allow their kids to eat because they they believe I'm a witch. Oh. Yeah, but it's life. I have to live with it. Anyways, I'm, I'm Cassandra, by the way. Ah, Cassandra is yes. this, um, is, is your husband here? No, he's not around right now. Ah, say my regards. Okay, I guess. Okay. Don't hesitate to call me if there's anything. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you. Thanks so much for this beautiful place. Like I said, you have, it's beautiful here. Thank you. And I hope I'll be allowed to to go around next time. Yes, sure. Yes. I did mention that you're my neighbor. Yes, yes, I know. I have that in my It's That's beautiful here. Yeah. Well, find time and come and say hello to you. Yeah. yeah Thank husband. you very much for Thank you. me. All right, then. I'm very humble. Yeah, have a good night, yes. then. Thank you. All right. Yes. Take good care. All right. Yes. Bye-bye. And um, enjoy the cake. I will. Bye. Thank you so much. I'll come around. Hmm. So, tell me, how was your first day here? It was normal. We have some quite interesting people in this neighborhood though. Wow. Tell me about them. <laughs> Nothing special. Oh, but there was this one old lady who brought us a cake as a welcome gift. That's interesting. I would have expected that would have happened in a North American or European country. Exactly. It was nice of her though. Yeah. I think we should pass by her end of our weekend and say thank you. Yeah, I thought so too. Mm. And... Okay, there was this guy across the street and he looks a bit weird and... I felt as if he was looking at me, like seeing glances. Uh, I could not remember. Give him a break. You rock. I married an absolutely stunning woman. I wouldn't be surprised if men crash their cars just by looking at you. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Mm. <laughs> neighbor in the apartment. How are you? I just felt like saying hi. Hey, hi, I'm Cass. Yeah, I just moved into the neighborhood with my husband. We're a newly married couple. That's nice. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Anytime you want someone to help you, kindly don't hesitate to call me. I'll be available. Thank you. Thank you too. Bye. All right. Bye. How's your book going? I seem to be moving at a faster pace. That's nice. I told you. You'll be the next JK Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> ah, but you know people don't like to read in Africa. Believe me. 
your books will break all those barriers. Everybody will read. I pray so. Mm -hmm. I pray so. <laughs> you know, being here all alone can be a bit boring sometimes. Come on, let's, you know, get a social life, you know. Join one of these women's organizations, you know, or hook up with the old lady who baked you the cake. But the old lady, or, you know, you can join one of these um, keep fit clubs. Right? Keep fit? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. You should have just said I'm fat. Uh, no, 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 no. Me, I would never see you a little bit till you put me fat. You have. I haven't. You have said it. I haven't. You have said I'm fat. No, I haven't said you're fat. Oh, you me, no way. Oh, you did. No, I didn't. You have. No, I haven't. <laughs> I wanna love you I wish I could love you Hi, I'm, I'm Cass Oh, if I could yeah, I love you Yeah, I just moved into my neighborhood with my husband We are a newly married I couple I will try to nice. love you I wanna love nice you Nice meeting you Nice meeting you too I wish I could love you Oh baby, if I could Oh, I will love you. Body is willing to assist you. Can go and stay to my heart is taken. Oh, baby, listen. I wish I could love you. Wish I could love, 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 love. Wish I could love, love, wish I could love you. Oh, wish I could. Oh, wish I could. Oh, wish I could. Wish I could love you. I wanna love you. I wanna love you Oh baby if I could I wish I could love you Instructor here to help you train or meet him back in Canada. So I'll prepare introducing to you. Oh, very nice. Uh, wait a minute, I'm coming. Uh, thank, thank you. you. About that, um, I can train on my own. I'll be alright, alright? I've done this before, so it's fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks. Fine. Okay, you are free to use any of the equipment. I want to tell you something 
nothing Baby, not making a listen See, normally I am a very serious kind of guy But not today You don't make a this Waiting be this With time, beauty be this What I am saying is this Even if I try so hard to resist I will be here tomorrow Looking for your love Madame You know what you say Hi! Hi, how are you? Oh. I'm fine, Mrs. Doggy. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm off to the hospital for my checkup, you know. Okay, okay. Yes, and um, I'd like to see you for a little chit chat later. That's okay. Okay. I'll pass by the house. Okay, later. how is your husband? He's fine. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, and make sure you call the printing press about the final copies because we need to be distributing as soon as possible. We're way really behind schedule. Hi, Miss. Hello, Cassandra. Hope you're good. Yes, I am. Do you enjoy working with us? Yeah, I do. I have something I want you to read. Uh, I'll give you my thought as soon as I'm done. This is Emmanuel Fletcher. Uh, Mr. Fletcher, this is Cassandra. Emmanuel Fletcher is the author of the novel. I, I hope you've heard of it. Behind the Wall. Oh, I read your novel. Very, very intriguing. I'm so grateful and honored. All right. I'll be in my office, Madam. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Please have a seat. in your father's will that one million dollars will be given to you when you marry. Mom, not again. Oh, it's my inheritance. And I'm not in need of it right now, okay? I want to roll it over for another year in an investment. Cass, I've just been married for three months. Three good months. It's too early. I'm not in need of it right now. Okay? So, how far with the novel you are working on? It's fine. Working on it right now. Um, I'm getting another call. I'll call you back. What did you say? I'll call you back, okay? <sighs> well, your books are doing fine. I just received the updates from the headquarters. They said you were a bit difficult to work with. Difficult. I'm not difficult. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, you have an eye for art and you like everything to be perfect. So, when they told me you were coming into town, I knew we would have a lot to deal with. But they made me promise I would get anything you want. So, what can I do? You're one of the best selling authors. So, anything you want. It's good you know all this because I do have a request. Yeah, go ahead. Good. Um, it's with the illustrator I'm supposed to work with. I have reviewed his works online and I think we have creative differences. I don't like his style. Well, that is going to be difficult to pull. He's the best illustrator we have and all the others are interns. And I see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. I don't need you to promise, just act. I'm so sorry for not coming early. I went to town. I really understand you. You are a housewife, and I know you have a lot of house chores to do. I am not a housewife, fool. I work. I work from home. Wow. I understand. <laughs> You know, it always breaks my heart to see young women who depend on their husbands. You know, when I was young, I made a mistake. I also have the same thoughts. But it's only God who will help me. I married a very rich man who also married me because of my looks. Yeah, 
You know, I could tell you were very beautiful when you were young. You can say that again. <laughs> I had a lot of men who crashed on me mm. when I was younger. But then, those that I loved didn't have anything. And those who were rich also loved me. Just because I was just like a monument they carried around to show off in the world. I married a rich man who had so much money. But, um, was so abusive. I went through a lot. He died in a plane crash. And I inherited all his his properties. But what came out of it? Loneliness. I wish I would have looked back and done better for myself than to depend on a man. Wow. So, do you, do you have children? Yes. I had one boy. But he died very early. That is why I had to will all my properties to the orphanage. Wow. You've given all your inheritance to charity. Yes. Because who is there to inherit? Ah. Tell me. What do you do for yourself? I'm a writer. I write novels. You write? It's great to know. So tell me about it. Hmm. I've been writing ever since I was a kid. I've worked for many firms as well. Um, I've done work for BBC, I've worked with VOA. Oh. Hi. Mm -hmm. Don't you think two months is too long to be away? I can't be here alone for that long. I mean, it's the job. You know I'd rather be with you than anywhere else in this world. But as a man, I have to work. You don't have to work, Abby. Even if you don't work, you'll be all right. Is this about your inheritance? <laughs> Look, that's a gift from your father to you. What will I leave my children if I don't work to? You will leave them with their inheritance. Come on, baby. It's for the both of us. Then there's nothing wrong with me getting them more. Mm -hmm. Hello, Patrick Bremen Strabaco. Hey, your wife. I didn't mean to know to you now.
He's a nice guy. I don't know why he knows my advances. I really like him. See, for a guy like him, he's definitely not alone. There should be some girl or girls killing for him. Mm. I have to have him. I don't know. There's something special about him. Just tell him how you feel, okay? Who knows? Maybe he wants you to. No, I can't. Come on. We are in the 21st century. Ladies propose to. Just do it. I love you so much, so, so much. You know, you have everything that it takes. Thank you. Yes, and I'm even thinking of divorcing my wife. Yeah. Why? Oh, because of you. Wow. You know, for my wife, I just don't love her. It's you that I love. I love so much. Look how sweet you're looking. It's you that I love. Thank you. After all, you are the one managing my account. Yeah. Yes, and I also want you to manage me as well. Hmm. And then you manage everything. Hmm. So you're managing my account, managing myself, <laughs> and managing everything. You. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's what I mean. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I like you too, but honestly, mm -hmm. it is against our code of ethics oh. to go out with customers. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, and if my boss is out to find out, I'll be fired, please. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. If you don't tell anybody, who will know? I do not know who is going to see you. No, 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 no. And see, you are matured as well. I know, right? But my work. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Nobody will know, please. If you don't tell anybody, nobody will know. Come on. Yeah? Oh. You are looking so sweet and come on. <laughs> Thank you. Charming. Thank you. <laughs> Ay, Jaga. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what just happened? Oh my God. The engineer number you are calling is currently switched off. Please try later. The engineer number you are calling. Cass, what's up? Hi. Hi. What are you doing outside all by yourself? I'm actually looking for the maintenance guy. Um, I have a problem in my house. Maintenance guy? Yes. Why? It's an electric house? Yes. My lights just went off. Oh. It may be the fuse. It tripped. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for him. No, but I, I, I can do it for you. I can help you. You sure? Yes, I can help you. 
Let's go. Let me have a look. Follow me. Okay.
Miss Silva. Okay. Okay. Hi, baby. I'll miss you. I'll call you. Okay, I will. Miss you. All right. Champion. Bye. I sent for him. I hope he will like the new illustrator. I hope he's good, that's all, and there won't be a problem. Well, take a look. This is an illustration he's done based on the briefs of the former books. Wow. This is very impressive. He's good. Wow. I like it. Come in! Oh, here he comes. Jake. Jane, meet Cassandra, the author of the books I showed you. Cassandra, meet Jake, the illustrator I recommended just for you. Wow. wow. Interesting. Nice meeting you. My name is Cassandra. Nice meeting you too, Cassandra. Thank you. I never know someone else. Why? I mean, you say you like his work. Yeah, I know, but um, mm. Cassandra, there is no time for this. I hope you're aware we are a little behind schedule. Jake, would you mind waiting for us in the conference room? We'll be with you shortly. Thank you. Please, don't make it more difficult for both of us. He is good. I know he is good. And I need to finish this. To avoid the pressure from the head force, I know how they feel about your books. I am. Uh, I'll stick with you. Thank you. I'm still having a meeting at the headquarters. I'm having a meeting. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be closing soon. I'll I'll be home soon. Yeah? Okay. All right. So when are you going to divorce your wife as you promised? Oh, I wish I met you before I met No, home. how long? Is it going to take a year or what? No, no. Soon. This is just 
just something you have to just say, you know. It's so easy lovely. thing. pre-existing problem between you and Cass and something that both of you are not telling me. I mean, it's so unusual that an author requests for a new illustrator even before they've worked together. But um, honestly, I, I wonder why you could actually come up with this one. Like, we, we don't know each other at all, trust me. Mm. You should say so. Cass. Hi. Hi. Uh, Who is she? Um, that's Cass. Um, 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 she's a neighbor and she's here with her husband. Cass meets Tyra. Tyra. Tyra is my girl girlfriend. Nice to meet you. Meet Cass. She's a neighbor. Mm, same here. <laughs> I guess you came in for the illustration I promised you. <laughs> I, I will make it very possible tomorrow at your decks. I'll bring it myself. Okay, please do. I will. Oh, my husband is calling. Oh, okay. Hi, baby. Good night. Yes, darling. <laughs> you <have to> <laughs> me. Meet Jake, our company artist. 
who will be in charge of photography for your magazine. Wow. Nice to see you. You're welcome. My name is Jake. Uh, I'm nice Angela. Please have a seat. Okay. Here are all the hard copy of the contract. Okay. I hope you are satisfied with the terms and conditions. Okay, let me check it. <laughs> That's nice, interesting. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. picture of all of them okay. okay but like they're welcoming customers okay. so you're happy smiling smile yeah yeah okay. watch it yeah okay okay yes probably a bit yes like a bit moving okay yeah great great nice one. now I've got the boss and the boss is obviously in the middle and uh, introducing both the team and welcoming everyone so how about you you try you know something with your hands okay. like yeah 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 so you this is your team okay yeah. no this smile is fake yeah no give it a kill it well it one <laughs> okay that's nice great good how's it go the kill it will work okay as you all know we are a little behind time and schedule and with this year's agenda um as the headquarters send a memo uh, we are supposed to achieve our target for this year. And our target for this year is to publish about eight novels. And this is what we are supposed to achieve. So I want to treat everybody to work hard and push for us to achieve this target for this time. Um, Ms. Lawson, are you done with the research for this editorial for the law firm? Almost done, sir. I'm waiting for a few pictures from the publisher. Okay, madam. Personally, if you give me the chance, I'll work on them and make sure it's looking better before we put it on the internet. Well, I think we should maintain it because she has really done a great job. She put more effort into it. You I think so? I think so. I think chapter 3 needs more editing. I just think it should be reviewed. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Chapter 3? Chapter 3. Yes. Majority carries the vote then. Let's uh, together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are not expecting to win on this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't fight, kids. <laughs> <laughs>
Shakespeare once said that all is fair in love and war. The winner is always taken over. Cass. Stop it. You really have to stop these things you've been doing to me. Hmm? My love or record. Your husband is calling. Hi, baby. Yes, I'm fine, my love. intriguing already. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm French, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to literature, we know what we're talking about and you are really good. No wonder the headquarters doesn't want to play with you. Thank you. That reminds me, um, Jake brought up your work. Mm -hmm. He said he sent you a copy. Have you seen it? Mm, well, I haven't checked my email today. Yeah, oh, um, so yeah, I have a look. Yeah. I hope you like it and you don't have any changes because he handed his resignation today. What? Yeah, it's very sad to lose such a talent. Could you say what the reason was? Mm. Well, he cited it was uh, personal. So I guess our hands are tied and we have to let him go.
I've done my best to what? talk to him several times. Jake, I've done are you my best. serious? No, no. I think he 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 must actually do something about it. I I will give you guys from tomorrow. Can you please think about this? Because this is actually a big blow to us. You are irreplaceable. No, I'm not letting you go. Is there any way you could wait till the end of the year, maybe? Every single minute I had with you guys in this company was, was, was beautiful. Guys, uh, so I, I need to leave. Oh, yes. Please don't do this. Uh, I wish I could do something about this. I'm sorry. Jay. Guys, I'm so, so sorry. Um, I'll, I'll ask for you. Okay, okay. yeah. I've been expecting you. Guys, no, 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 wait a minute. Are you going to. Jay! No, no, Um. Let's make it next week, yeah? Come on, baby. Next week is too far. I need it very urgent. Please. Um, um, let, let me give you a check of 5,000, okay? And then the, the rest next week. I'll sort you out straight up. 5,000 wouldn't be enough, but um, if you say so, I'll just manage it, you know? All right, so let me just, let me just get it for you now. Uh, Look at that bitch. Hello? Hello? Hi, Cassandra. I'm fine. How are you? Yes, about the document. I left it on your table the other day. Yes. They published the first 10 pages. Okay. God willing. Tomorrow. All right. She's so irritating. So why then do you always smile with her whenever you see her? I'm just calling you. No. <laughs> Do you like them? This is beautiful. I'm glad you really like them. All the places I've been, there isn't anything or anyone as beautiful as you are.
I love you too. Are you living now? Yeah, um, I didn't want to wake you up. I thought you were going to spend the night. Oh. Um, yeah, I forgot you are a married woman. It's not that chick. Okay, let me just go to you. No, I'm sorry. Just relax. Are you sure? working. So let's move to phase two. Anne Finn speaking. Hello. Good afternoon, Mother. Good afternoon. Mr. Jacob bought a check of 7,000 in Ghana City to be cut out today. We are confirming if we should pay him. Yes, please, pay him. I was aware he, the cheque was due today. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you, manager. Is it? You look terrified. Oh, yes, I'm over terrified. Stop seeing that guy. He's in to ruin your life. What do you want? Cassandra, you are like a daughter to me. You have a fine man as a husband. Why are you seeing that boy? Anytime he passes, I know he's up to something. And I'm not going to sit to see that boy ruin your life. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why do you want to embarrass yourself? You better put a stop to it before it's too late. This is not fair. What has he done to deserve all this? Why do you want to ruin yourself? It's long overdue, and I think you have to put a stop to it. Why? Is there something wrong in, in your marriage that you're not telling me? I'm all ears. Talk to me as a mother. I am not happy because I know that boy is up to something. Be careful. 
very careful before it's too late. I am grown now and I know I can die anytime. So I have to tell you the truth. I'm sorry. And um, I promise I'll put an end to this relationship. You have to. You're a very beautiful girl. And you have a lot of prospects ahead of you. You don't have to ruin your life. Just because of that guy. Just take good care of yourself. Alright. Yeah, but Auntie, is everything alright? Is it just because of this? You look terrified. Yes, I am terrified. Cassandra, I. I I, I had a strange call yesterday night claiming he's, he's a policeman and I don't know but he he sounded more like a detective he requested for my will which I never disclosed to him he also asked of my bank account it sounded strange and said he knew everything about me he told me to cancel my donation to the children's home and that if I don't he was going to kill me and bang the children at the children's home Cassandra he also requested I transfer all my money to his account. Oh my God. I, I, I still don't believe this. It must be a prank. No, it's not a prank. <sighs> Cassandra, I've run for a long time. My late husband's family has done everything to destroy me. Even I came to this estate for closure. I've hidden myself all this while. They won't stop chasing me until I give them everything I inherited from my husband. But this is not right. We need to call the police and risk the children's life. No, you can't do that. Cassandra, you can't do that. This is too much for me. There must be something that we can do. There's nothing I can do. she behaved the other time at the meeting as if she owns the company who are you talking about i'm talking about that cassandra girl oh. do you see how she behaves in the office she feels like she's better than anybody else in the company what does she have that i don't no come on i don't think so i don't think so i just don't like her women are just like that every day misinterpreting things no 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 i'm not misinterpreting anything i just don't like her oh come on Come on. All right, we didn't come here for set talks, work, work, work. We came here to have fun. Yeah? Come on, we came here to have fun. Come on. Oh. Oh.
visited him. Are there moon swings? I'm not. Listen. I think... You think what? That we should end us. We should end this beautiful relationship. That's what you think, I guess. Guys, why are you doing this to us? You know what we feel. You know the connection. So why? I know. I know there's a connection, but this is not right. This is so wrong. It's wrong. It's not right. I don't think you have an idea what I feel for you. that going to work? Our families will miss us, if not hate us for our selfish behavior. We have so much to leave behind. Well, I have some money. We could start with it. And then? Then maybe you also bring your inheritance. I didn't see anything wrong. My inheritance. Yes. Wait a second. How do you know about my inheritance? Is that why you read me? Tell me. Anybody home? Charles. Hello. Charles, Charles is back. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Charles. I'm, I'm coming. Good evening, Juice. Yeah, good evening, Jake. It's been a while. I've not been seeing you around this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out of town for a while. Yeah, but anyway, um, I'm sorry for disturbing you around this time. I heard you and your girlfriend having a chat, and I wanted to ask you, um, have you seen my wife? There's no one else for me to ask other than you and the old lady over there. Uh, I've not seen her. Have you checked the gym? Well, if she was at the gym, you would know. What is this picture doing here? How did Jake get my brother's picture? With his children. Aren't you the gym instructor? <laughs> um, I quit. I'm not working there anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I, I think uh, she's not far. I mean, she left the door unlocked. Oh my God. So he's married? There are signs that she's around, so... A gun? Ajua, did you put the fish in the deep freezer? Yes, madam. So, that'll be it for today. 
I don't forget to shut the blinds. Okay, madam. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Me too, madam. Thank you, madam. So, uh, thank you. You're, you're, you're most welcome. Yeah. All right, good night. All right. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Don't take me like that. No, stop. 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 I, I love you. Publishers you are working with and giving you a hard time. No. Everything is fine at work. Mm. You shouldn't leave the door unlocked the way you did today. Anything could happen to you. Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. Um, I apologize. I, I didn't know I was going to keep that long. I have to come back early this time because um, I need to prepare for a longer trip. I'll be away for six months this time. All right. All right? You're not complaining? That sounds like you, Cass. Is everything okay? Everything is all right. It's just that I've come to settle with the fact that my husband's good business wouldn't let him spend enough time with me. Yeah. Traveling is part of his job. Look, I'm already feeling extremely bad about this. Look, I have in my plans, you know, to retire in the next two years. And after that, you'll have all the time in the world with me. Um, 
Miss, I just uh, wanted to remind you that I've put your multivitamins in the bag. Thank you. Um... Hi! How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just looking for you. Please tell Mrs. Okita I'll be up in here room very soon. Okay, After I'm, okay. I'm done. Yeah. Uh, what time is your flight again? Yeah, uh, it's a late flight. I'll leave home around 7 because I think uh, the departure time is um, 11 p.m. Oh, 11 p.m. Yeah. Okay, all right. Safe flight. Okay, see you. Mm. All right. Mm. You miss me. Okay, call me once you get there. Will do. Okay, bye. Stanti, I need something. I need a gun. What do you mean? I learned how to shoot a gun all the way in the cadet when I was back in school. <sighs> no, no, I just need it for protection. You know? All these robbers and things like that. So please help me get a gun now, okay? All right, perfect. Thank you. 
Hello? 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 Okay. My car is not starting. I don't know what the problem is. Whoa! I can't reach my mechanic. What? Sorry, you have a problem. The car is not starting. I have no idea what the problem is. Do you mind if you join my car? Will I drop you off? Oh, that would be... Very nice of you, thank you. Sure. Let me just grab my handbag. Okay. So we'll come and pick it up. Come and fix it.
Hey, baby. Oh, I have something to tell you. No, no, no. This isn't the right time. Listen, I need to talk to you. I need to tell you something. Can you tell me everything tonight? Can't we talk now, baby? Choose baby. This is not your sweet or honey or whatever you call him. Who is this? Someone who will let your husband live if you don't behave well. What's going on? Where is he? Now listen carefully. Your actions or inactions will decide whether he lives or dies. Right there. Don't you dare. Take out your phone. Turn it off. I said, turn your phone off. Drop it on the floor and crush it. Before we proceed, drop your gun. We've got your phone tapped and your laptop as well. So we know everything that's going on with you. Drop the gun or he dies. Surprised? Jake said you approve this. Is it worth it? My friend, shut up. You don't ask questions here. I do. If you want to bring your life, shut up. Now, move. One more word from you, and he's going to die. Move! Are working. Strange. It wasn't working a while back. Let me have the envelope I asked you to bring. Where is he? Or is he a coward to face me? One more word from you and he dies. Let me have that.
Oh, this is too much money for a dumb girl. That's just too much money. Your inheritance actually accrue more interest over time. <laughs> you had a lot of money, girl. But now, she she you no get. So, listen, if you're going to kill me, just go on with it. And let him go. Dead girls don't need money, do they? <laughs> He's free to go. You can untie him. <laughs> What's going on here? Jules! What's going on here? Wow! I didn't know you loved me this much. What the irony? So why the hell do you have to go through all this with him? I really meant this mm. much to you. Is this some kind of test or game? Of course, girl. It's obviously a game, but it's ours to play it. Hi, baby boy. Funny how you thought you were in control, Mr. Cop. Tyra, you. Yeah. Tyra. <laughs> you know this dude here? <laughs> He's a cop. He was investigating me, so he used you to get to me. So you are the only one played here. <laughs> My girlfriend and I found out about your enormous inheritance and the clothes it came with. Me and my woman here hatched mm -hmm. a plan to get to it. You travel to Dubai? Oh. So I had to marry you at all costs. To get more access to you. Meanwhile, this idiot here was following me around trying to find something on me to put me in jail. So I sent him a destruction. My mole. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Sure. My, my name is Jake. And you are? I'm Tyra. It's our job. Can we do it well? We wanted your inheritance and we got something extra. A bonus. Tyra found out about Mami Ducky's wealth from Jake's surveillance of her. We didn't know why she was a matter of interest, but later on we found out his job was not just to sleep with you, but to protect her. The old lady had it coming, so we thought, why not? If it was going to get worse, we need to cash in first. Excellent. Okay. I see the debit here. I'd need to confirm it online. It's been good doing business with you. <laughs> Continue being a good woman. I'll see you around. So that night that you thought I didn't know Cass was in your apartment, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> So that night we were feeling all guilty. I'm moving on the whole day. And you, the 
police circles were upset with you for letting that happen under your watch. You are such a bitch. No hard feelings, dear. It was only business. You meant nothing to me, just as she meant nothing to you. No. That's not true. I saw the way he watched her. He's falling in love. So it's not just a job. He's in love. Trust me, that will help our plan. Now, the fulcrum of the game is evidence. And I bet you don't have one single evidence. The entire police force doesn't have anything to incriminate me yet. And guess what? They will not have anything. Because tomorrow's headline is going to read, Rogue officer kills someone's husband and attempts killing him too. Mm -hmm. The police can't come out to say you were an undercover agent and that they gave you the go-ahead to sleep with someone's wife when they didn't have any evidence on him. Hmm? And Cass's confession on the computer is going to incriminate you. Don't worry, you won't go to jail. Because you'll be dead by morning. And your death, I'll see was self-defense. Cass's missing inheritance will be linked to your account. <laughs> Don't get too excited. We are just sending a fraction to it. <laughs> <laughs> and when all this settles, my man and I will walk down the sunset and find new victims. Checkmate. <laughs> and oh, girl, you weren't chatting him all this while. I was. <laughs> So, who dies first? As they say, ladies first. But you know, I, maybe you'll do me the honors. You know, I never kill my wife. But you keep this guy for me, you know, it will be poetic. I killed the man who shagged my wife. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, confession time. Initially, you were just supposed to be a case. But later, it became more. I, I, I fell in love with you just oh, when I saw your father oh. on my case list. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. I'm so sorry, dear. Oh. This seems like a page taken from a Shakespeare drama. How touching. He's making me cry already. <laughs> Come on, get it over with. I need to go prepare my face to mourn my wife in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Yes. 
Do you know everything happening in this house? What? Yes. Calm down. We are in to help you. See, we have this. We have this. What is this? This is a microphone. We'll be listening to this at the head of it. There's something I want to get off my chest. I don't know if this is the best time to discuss this, but I just want to get it off my chest. Oh. You're married. Please do not lie to me because I saw your wedding pictures in your drawer with your computers and your listening devices and everything. Last secret room of yours in your house. I was just a best not to a good friend. You're not married. So the pictures you were a best man. I was a best man. I have something to tell you. What was that? I'm carrying a baby. But everything is settled now. They've retraced my inheritance. So I have it now. And I'm putting up my house for sale. I want to go far away. Far away from the scary moments. And start a new life with my unborn child and my I am um, actually I was waiting for you to wake up and make sure you're okay before I leave.
to where? America, Europe. How many African countries do you know so far? Just Nigeria. Let's take a road trip to West Africa then. In your old car. <laughs> That's something itself. Gotten what I always wish for, so I'm fine. You know, you need to try your hands on writing some novels. Novels? But I feel myself is standing there in front of me. <laughs> Jack of all trades. No, should I say Jack of all trades? Trades. Yes, the painter, the cop, the gym instructor, <laughs> and the officer. 